Hey, it's Peck again, and this is another combo book, Volume 2, Chapter 14, Chris Redfield. Let's talk about his buffs and nerfs. What nerfed him was his shotgun. In vanilla, when the opponent gets hit by Chris's shotgun for the second time, they immediately fall to the ground. In Ultimate, they nerfed it. When Chris hits them with the shotgun for the second time, they automatically recover instead of getting hit to the ground. What buffed him was his weapons and his hyper combo, which is named Sweep Combo. The weapons, since in vanilla, since you can only do down forward heavy, which is just the pistol, to only lift him off the ground and do nothing else, in ultimate, you can quickly uh, switch it to uh, the shotgun, which can wall bounce him to extend more combos. In vanilla on the Sweep Combo, the machine gun couldn't OTG uh, from the ground. Uh, on the opponent, but in ultimate, you can't. Now let's get to the basic combos. His first basic combo starts off with standing light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, launch him to the air, super jump, medium twice, heavy, launch him to the ground, dash, and then down forward heavy for the pistol. And that does only 393.300 damage. His second basic combo is a combination of a special attack and a hyper combo attack. So you start out with a standing light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, dragon punch forward light, which is a grenade, and then dragon punch forward plus both attack buttons to do the sweep combo. And that does 542.700 damage. That was his basics. Now let's do his advance. For this combo, it's a combination of a special attack, hyper combo attack, delayed hyper combo, and raw tag. In this combo, I had to use Lele or Senko for this combo. So it starts off with standing light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, dragon punch forward light for the grenade, dragon punch forward plus both attacks for the sweep combo, DHC it with Lele or Senko for her ultra, which is a quarter circle forward plus both attacks, and then raw tag it with Chris, and then use a quarter circle forward heavy for his magnum, and then quarter circle back plus both attacks for the satellite laser, press heavy three times, and that does about 1123.200 damage. This combo starts off with the standing light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, launch into the air, super jump, medium twice, heavy, launch into the ground, then jump up, do a quarter circle forward medium to do a machine gun, which will bounce him to the ground, launch him up to the air once again, super jump, medium twice, heavy, launch into the ground once again, jump up again, do a quarter circle forward heavy to do the magnum, and then while they're still in the air, well, on the air from the ground, do a Dragon Punch forward plus both attacks to do the sweep combo, and that does about 609.600 damage. For this combo, you have to start up with jumping forward to the opponent, and then launch, and then on the ground, press heavy, then launch him to the air, then super jump, launch him to the ground, then quickly do a down forward heavy to do the pistol, and then quickly quarter circle forward heavy for the magnum to the to make them bounce to the wall. And then while they're still flow, uh, flying from the air, launch them to the air once again, super jump, medium twice, heavy, launch them to the ground, then jump up, quarter circle forward heavy for once again the magnum, and then down dragon punch forward, plus both attack buttons to do the sweep combo, and that does about 705.700 damage. Now let's get to the X-Factor combos. 
This X Factor combo is pretty easy. You can only use it when you're in a low health situation or when you really need to just finish the opponent off. So starting off with a standing light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, quarter circle back light to do the combination punch. Then press light medium after the combination punch. You have to do it at a good timing. So, and then you do quarter circle forward plus both attacks to do the grenade, do the uh, grenade hyper combo actually. And then X factor before the uh, before the air grenade hits the opponent. And then once it hits the opponent from the air grenade, dragon punch forward plus both attacks to do the sweep combo. And that does about 849.800 damage. <laughs> This X-Factor combo contains special attacks, X-Factor, assists, and hyper combos. So starting off with uh, standing light, medium, heavy, forward heavy, quarter circle back light for the combination punch. Then press light, medium, heavy after the combination punch. Once again, at a good timing. Then, before, then while Chris launches the opponent to the air, do an immediate X-Factor. Send your assist out quick, jump up. Press medium heavy launch, and then once the assist finishes hitting the opponent, launch him to the air, and then super jump, medium twice, heavy, launch him to the ground, then jump up, do a quarter circle forward heavy to do the magnum, and then dragon punch forward plus both attack buttons for the sweep combo, and it does 1019.400 damage. The last part of this video is Chris's assist. For his first assist, this is combination punch. It does two hits and it knocks the opponent out to the ground. His second assist, this is machine gun. It helps you out in most situations for chip damage. His last assist is his grenade toss. When Chris puts the grenade toss to the ground in about around 5 seconds, the grenade automatically detonates. But if the opponent makes contact with it, the opponent automatically detonates. And that's all. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like the commentary in this video also. Subscribe, like, and comment below this video if you want. So, this is Peck324 signing out.